NIS, and then the NIS would send that client the information they need for their computer session. Animals are dying in large numbers. Huge fish kills of the Ohio, in the Ohio that's River. Only oh, that's awful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Earth. Well, yes, it's Michelle Marie Delaney. Of course, today is Silver Moon Radio After Show. We're going to try to have an after show it try to do this once in a while because unfortunately the um after shows um can be uh, copied over to youtube later on <clears throat> and uh wanted to talk to you guys about the silver moon radio show and i figured this would be a good time as any noticing that the the music playback is not really doing well we're not getting the views that we used to get uh, I guess that's just expected sometimes. Um, but the, um, this, I should retitle this show, um, but Silver Mario, after show, so as we call, when I publish this, a highlight. Um, so, we covered a lot of music here on the show for two hours, and I don't think the... Majority of the people really understand why the music I play is selected as part of the playlist. Um, the show was supposed to be a time when we can explore new things that you may never heard before and uh, new genres of music. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the whole point. Let's get out there and try something new. Let me just make a quick run to the bathroom. And uh, when I come back, we will talk some more. If you have questions, put them on the screen below and I will look at them. Okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay? Hey, I'm back, and of course, um, this is a chance for people to get to know a little bit about uh, the show. How did the Silver Moon Radio can be such a thing anyway? Well, um, it kind of has a long history. I uh, started out originally as an experiment at uh, to see if I could finally share my, my favorite music with people. And because uh, I mentioned originally at the time I had rebuilt my turntable, which I did. And so I originally wanted people to be able to hear how the turntable sounded because originally they already saw that I had worked on it. And uh, so it was just was started like, here's a turntable, here's how it sounds when it was in its... Uh, pre adjustment state and uh and so we kept going from there as the radio show and that's the reason 
It became the the great musical program that came to later be Silver Moon. The idea is is this little radio station in Silver Moon Azeroth, which um, after the, 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 the crash of the Elon Musk, which is a multi-generational spaceship, uh, you know, he owns SpaceX, right? Yeah, that Elon Musk. The ship was named after him. And it had crashed it in the Ghostlands. And because it crashed in the Ghostlands, the um, the survivors of the craft, the worst thing was like a, about uh, 100, and unfortunately the Scourge had picked off over... Oh my goodness, over 50, 60 of them, leaving the remainder of 32 people that were left. And so they wanted to, thank you very much, I'm glad I have an interesting night. Um, so there was, so a couple of uh, Cinderai uh, that were um, touring the ghost land saw the ship and saw that they were it was a crash ship from another world. Having had experience with other ships like those of Draenor and others, they had an idea that it was a big deal. So since it was sitting right in the dead scar, and they were like, oh, we got to get these people out of there because they're going to end up becoming mincemeat. So they, um, a group of the Cinderai rescued the people of the Elon Musk and the goal was to get the people to safety. But eventually, after a while, the Elon Musk started, the crew started managing to speak the Thalassian language, and they started to talk to the Cinderai. And, uh, and they brought them to meet the, the regent, and he welcomed them to join the culture because they realized that there was no place for them to go. They were not alliance. They were not Horde. They were just from another planet that didn't know anything about the alliance or the Horde. They just wanted them to be safe. And so he said since there was 32 people and they had plenty of Rome and, and Silver Moon City, which is also known as Cothalus, he said, come on in. And so they came. And one of the guys was... A radio guy, we call him Sparky, and um, and he um, actually talked to the Magister of Communications, and he showed them the record collection that they had from all the people. There was a guy originally on the generational ship that loved music, loved records, had a huge record collection of vinyl, and um, so he said to her, look, I we'd love to have you share this music with you for is for the fact is that you sa rescued us and you saved our lives and and in the uh, Calixtia, which is the magistrate communication, said, Hey, that's a great idea. But I want the music to be playable or heard by everybody. So oh, this guy was a broadcast engineer and uh, he said, Well what about a radio station? Um now Calixtia, of course, being the magistrate of communications, was like, I don't know what a radio station was. So if we read my uh, the radio scripts working on that Quathlos Times, you would know that um, Sparky created this, um, uh, started playing the music in the bazaar, originally on a little portable transmitter and speakers around the bazaar so that people could dance and listen to the music. And Calixtia thought that was a great idea. And she says, can we make this bigger? Can we go for more power? Can we reach more of the people of Azeroth? And he said, yeah, sure. That's easy. And so he, she said, I'll tell you what. Let's get a big transmitter that covers all the eastern kingdoms. All of the eastern kingdoms. Every one of them. And so that people could listen to the music from their homes because the bazaar was getting full. I mean, it was standing room only. Could you imagine trying to do the Congo, Congo when everybody's basically packed in like sardines in the bazaar or trying to listen to Gloria Estefan? Um, and Sparky said, sure. So the other guy that we that's a major part of the story is Jason Hernandez, which was uh, at that time had trained as a mage. 
and he knew how to do portals, and he managed to figure a way to do portals back to Earth. And he would actually go to work, his day job, on Earth. So he was still working on Earth and had access to connections on Earth. And, and so Sparky said, I need a transmitter. And Jason found him an old Collins AM radio transmitter, 25 kilowatt. And uh, so we, they imported the radio station into Quasilas, and they set it up in the Royal Palace. And thus, the Summer Moon Radio AM 1610 came to be a real thing. It was because of the dedication of Sparky and Jason Hernandez to bring music to the people of Quasilas. They would play records, cassettes, MP3, CDs, which later would become a market for those players and they were making them now they were starting to produce them in large numbers and they were selling them all across the eastern kingdoms and sometimes the station would go as far as Colteris and people would listen to the music out there in Colteris when the night was good and uh and that was how Silver Moon the story uh Came to be. I'm still writing the radio script now for the radio, for the radio drama serials, but the, that's all we're going to say right now. But this is kind of a love in action here because when I do the show, there's there's a lot of love here. Um, I love when I do the show. I love when I come up here. Okay, I know I don't sing fantastic, and I know that most people probably don't like the music I play, but. Remember what the story is supposed to be about. It's a collection of records and MP3s and CDs that have been saved and salvaged out of a record collection from the Elon Musk ship that was saved and people, you know, wanted to hear all kinds of genres and music. And so they came together and said, you know, like, for example, we played some music by uh, um, Carmen Miranda and we played... Um, other artists, uh, like Gloria Estefan, Conga, and a few others, country listening, country western, easy listening music. Um, it was just, it's for me, music is a major part of my diet. Uh, I'm not necessarily fat because of food. I, I'm, that is one thing, but I also, um, I, uh, I enjoy a very rich musical tapestry of all kinds of art. Artistry, um, for styles of music, and I love singing to it and and jiggling along to it, and um, and I also love some forms of dance. I love Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. I love Carmen Miranda. I love Gloria Estefan. Um, even the Bengals are cool, and of course the the Go Go's with Belinda Carlisle. All this was what makes, for me, the Sunday night 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock show is a time when I get out there and have a good time. It's summertime coming, and which means that my season, which is from December 21st to around March 20th, is over. Well, I'm the North American Snow Queen. That's what I do during the winter months is I maintain the winter weather, but during the spring, summer, and autumn, I'm just an ordinary Michelle Marie Tlani. I'm not anything special um, because my season's over for the year. And then, uh, and uh, that's the reason why I still do music shows, because it gives me a chance to wiggle and jiggle, you know? Like you could saw me, if you're watching early when I was, really get into the Kunga by Gloria Estefan. Um, I really do love music, and I do love playing it. Yeah. So when I really started out with Silver Moon Radio, prior to the the temporary banning on Twitch, I was we were almost going close to getting the affiliate, and I really, really still want to go for the affiliate standing. Okay, I really still want to do the affiliate. I still enjoy music. I still enjoy having a good time with the community at large. Now, you might be asking why I haven't done much um, uh, World of Warcraft lately. Well, um, well, because playing by myself sucks. 
You know, it's almost like the sound of Billy Idol dancing with myself. How much can you dance with yourself when you really want to have a person to play with uh, in World of Warcraft? And I'm, I did create a, uh, a guild, but there's no one in the guild. And uh, so, you know, I'm looking to have more people join the guild and become part of the guild. And uh, that's, to me, that's the thing. You know, I want to... Now, some people might say, well, maybe if you didn't automatically hide the stream after doing Silver Moon Radio and let Twitch play it. The problem is, is Twitch is like, um, well... It's copyrighted music. We don't really want to get trouble with the DMCA, right? Um, so, the, um, so after the show, we unpublish um, the show. And so a lot of people don't get a chance to hear the reruns. And I kind of wonder if that's really such a good idea because then you never get a chance to listen to it. I do mention the Patreon playlist. And I haven't uploaded very many of them lately to Patreon because... No. no one subscribes to Pantheon at all. No one has been. There's no memberships. I mean, there are memberships, but no one subscribes to them. And uh, so that's the reason why. And um, so are we going to continue with Silver Moon Radio? Yes. Are we going to eventually get the morning shows back on here on Twitch as long as the night shows and the other shows from YouTube? Probably. It, the thing is that um, Twitch said this, is that uploads stay forever. Replays don't. Highlights don't stay forever either. And so, you know... It's like, it's just like the song there, like the old, oh, you, you know, for, you know, only, only for so very young, you know, by, um, Cut Stevens, the only dancing on the sword for a little while. And, uh, the playlists, um, definitely are not eternal. And, um, uh, but, uh, I still enjoy doing the show. I still enjoy having opportunity to show you some of my skills. Now for tomorrow by the way, for those of you who do not know we have a knee appointment with the doctor to look at my left broken knee to see if we can fix the kneecap. Um, so tomorrow will be a very interesting day because the question is, is are you going to be able to do the kunga? Are you going to be able to do the samba? Are you going to be able to to dance like you want to, um, you know, doing a Carmen Miranda uh, dance with the with the, the headdress on your head that somebody else has a headdress for me. I hope so. Like, you know, I'm going to be honest when I say it. I don't know how well it's going to work um, or if we're going to do it in the autumn instead of just doing it in the summer because there's a lot of questions that need to be answered that I have to have the doctor to answer. One of them is how long is it going to take for this repair um, to do? And would it be better to do it in the autumn when the likeliness of going outside and enjoying the nice weather? How you doing? How you doing today? Yeah. Subscribe to me to YouTube a week ago. You have an interesting mind. Thank you. I'm sorry I missed your comments. Um... Yeah, I, I do have an interesting mind. I really do. Um, and I think you coming on uh, sick, sick in moto and subscribe to YouTube a week ago. You have an interesting mind. I know you said that a little while ago. But uh, I, I do appreciate it. I really do appreciate being creative and entertaining. Um, like I said on Silver Moon Radio, there is a lot of interesting things about Karma Mar Carmen Miranda. I, when I first heard her music, I didn't know anything about her background. All I knew was the song Chicka Chicka Boom Chick. And I was like, what is that about? And I said, is there a video for this? Because I realized that almost everything that exists 
uh, uh, music has probably been played or has been put up on YouTube somewhere and right on the money, boom, there was the actual dance with the fruit basket on her head, her headdress. And I said to myself, dang, this is good. I said, I got to try this. I have a friend who's giving me a headdress, which would be fun to see how we can deal with that, doing the samba. And then as you saw, watching conga, you saw another woman with a headdress on her head that was doing the conga. I said, could I do that too? I mean, if my knee would be willing. I mean, because um, I, I just really like it. I, I do. And um, are we ever going to get the affiliate status? Um... Honey, we had it. We lost it. Okay, we, I mean, we had a chance before the before we were knocked off by Twitch. We were so close. Oh my goodness, we were less than a millimeter away, and we lost it. And then when I was banned for two months, we couldn't get anybody to find the channel, and we lost all of those people that were following us and then but didn't subscribe and then those that did subscribe a lot of them just kind of thought I was gone and never came back and um and that's the reason why it's kind of sad I mean I really feel that we can go so far we can go so much further with this program and I'd like to remind you guys, please do check out the links above in the blue box. We really, really would love to have you check everything out. There's so many more links in there up there. Let's, let's see if I can give you a few more. But first of all, if for those of you who like links, you can click on for donations. I don't know if this thing can do this, but I'm going to post. Uh, let me get over here. Let me see if I can post some of these links. I don't know if this thing has a donate tab like it does on... Well, I know we do have the wish list. We have the web store. Well, store and wish list. And... Oh, it says spell there. I'm sorry. And we have the donate. I don't know if that link has been copied over there. Yes, it has. Love to see all of you guys... Come. The only one that's not there is Cash App, which is this. I'll type it manually. It's C A S H A P P string Michelle Mary Check it out. Michelle Marie Donnie. You know, this is a chance for you guys to Find out what I got, what I'm doing, how I create things, programs, things like that. Maybe today I will leave this stream, um, the the main play, the song, the show is published. And then we will go ahead and just extract the highlight, which is the after show. So that we can post it on YouTube, so that the YouTube groups can listen to it, and uh, and talk about the the after show, because we're gonna compare YouTube to Twitch. One thing is Twitch uh, doesn't really uh, mangle the stream as bad as YouTube does, um, and uh, which is absolutely true. And just remember, too, that the morning shows uh, tomorrow, because the doctor's appointment is going to be later in the day. It's not going to be at 10 a.m. tomorrow. It'll probably be in the afternoon when I come home after my doctor's appointment and find out what the story is, how we're going to do treatments and stuff like that. And... Uh, I was also on Leather King's show today, and I was on my show today in the afternoon. I did the afternoon show, and then I did this show, um, trying to expand um, my audience. And I want to thank everybody that has joined YouTube, but I also would like to see the YouTubers come to Twitch. Um, 
We'd love to have more of you guys to be part of the show. Really, we would love you so much to be part of the show. But, you know, because the way Twitch is, there's no guarantee it's going to work out uh, forever. But, uh, yeah, we'll try what we can. Um, so, I guess that's all I want to say right now. But just to let you know that I welcome all of you guys being part of the show. I welcome you to please share the shows with your friends, your families. Um, the Silver Moon Radio Show is usually from 7 to 9. I mean, I know originally we used to do it for five hours and things like that long ago when we were playing records on a regular basis, and I still want to do that too. And uh, and that's something that's going to be our next project and in the future is to get back to the music and the programs. But for now, I just want to say I want you to have a nice night, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you tomorrow in the afternoon. Okay? Bye-bye.